Have you ever heard that phrase, you are what you eat? I think there's some truth to that. So uh, we have to, again, get into the biology of this a bit, but the, the enzymes that process omega-6 derived fatty acids or omega-3, they're actually the same. The ones that, that process omega-3 and 6 are the same enzymes. Mm. So it's, it's called ALOX5 and 5-AP. And those enzymes um, can handle either one, the pro-inflammatory or the pro-resolving uh, lipid precursor, you know, omega-6 or omega-3. So as, as with any enzyme, if you give it a substrate in excess, it's going to favor that, uh, that substrate if it's got equal propensity to treat, to, to affect both. I see. And so if you load your body up with omega-6s at a ratio of 30 to 1 or 25 to 1, you know, your enzyme is going to be more likely to convert that to a pro-inflammatory lipid mediator than a pro-resolving lipid mediator. But if, if, they're, if, you're, if you're getting a, a grain-fed animal that's where the meat is now 25 to 1, and you're, you're getting every bread uh, that you eat or every uh, cookie or, or piece of pie or whatever you're eating is loaded with you know, uh, basically uh, omega-6s, then your body's going to see much more of that. So you are what you eat. Now, what can you do to correct that? You can, well, like if you go to grass-fed beef, the ratio is one-to-one, amazingly. And grass-fed milk, one-to-one. And grass-fed butter, one-to-one. So just switching to grass-fed, you know, uh, animals and, and milk can really, uh, because, you know, we eat, many people eat a lot of meat and butter and, and, uh, and milk. And uh, so that's, that's one thing you can do.